So, I'm just sat down to one of my favorite meals. I'm gonna have redfish and rice for lunch. Now I caught this redfish yesterday and I just smoked him on the grill. Smoked on the half shell. It comes out excellent. But I've got a dilemma. Maybe you can help me out with it. When you're fishing and you catch a redfish and your slot limit is that you can only keep one redfish within the slot, what do you do? Do you keep the first one? keep the second one? Do you throw it back hoping you're going to catch another one? Well stay tuned and I'll show you how I determine whether I'm going to keep that particular fish or throw him back. But I'd love to get your comments on how you make that determination as well. Watch this episode of Today in the Marsh. I'm going to eat lunch and we'll talk again at the end. Well, we're out on the water. It's 156. It's actually a lot better conditions than I thought. Uh, the wind is blowing. You probably hear that a little bit. We are going down a low tide, but the tide's a lot higher than I thought it would be. I thought we'd be at the bare bottom and we're not. We've got uh, good current coming in. These are all great signs. Uh, the wind's blowing a little bit, so that is going to make us adjust our, our fishing a bit. But all in all, it's a great day out here on the water. So I'm going to call it a medium but moving tide. Looks like it's going down. Find out a little bit more later. Uh, windy conditions. but warm and the water clarity is what I would call about normal here, normal to clear. It's a tea stain, very light tea stained water, but you can pretty much see the bottom a couple feet down. And that's also a good sign for the types of lures we use. You can see the oyster bed right there in the water. So looking forward to today's challenge. We're going to try to locate some redfish and maybe a few sea trout as well. Those are our favorites and that's what we're going after. Just overall, not going to complain about these conditions. So, okay. Been fishing the chartreuse head got to order some more jig heads, but I want to use up the chartreuse ones that I have. I normally like the black DOA cow. There's some activity right there. Black DOA cow with the uh, yellow eyes, the best. DOA cow jig head with a DOA cow shad paddle tail bait on it. It's one of my favorites. Kind of works in these waters pretty well. Visibility wise, yeah, we are getting blown left to right, wind and current. We'll see what that brings. Beautiful. You may also notice in the metadata for this video, besides the merchandise link, uh, I've actually switched the video, video gear that I use. I was using a Hero 5 Session with a Rode Video Micro microphone in the past, and now I'm trying out just the Hero 7 Black with a Windslayer sponge, so that's going to get well tested today. The Wind Slayer, uh, I call it a sponge, but you'll see it in the link below. It's uh, for cutting down on the wind noise from the built-in mic. Oh, I got one. Look at that. Got one. He tugged on it too. 
he was following it. Let's see. Uh, it's probably a red. He is pulling. Now he's pulling drag. So, what we're going to do is stake out. Oh, we're right on an oyster bed. Let's see if I can keep my tight line. He's on pretty good. Yeah, he looks good. He is really pulling me, too. Nice. Let's see if we can get him up. Yeah, where are you? Come on now. Looks like. Looks like a, oh, he's a redfish. Good, he's pretty good size red. Might have caught our limit already. Yeah, pretty good size redfish. But I don't know. There he is. Yeah, he's a good size. Got him. Nice. Very good. Excelente. Now that was easy. <laughs> Not really, but. Nice size fish, good fighter. You can tell he was uh, hit it uh, off of this oyster bed we're on top of right now. So let's uh, get a measurement on this nice red fish. And uh, I know he's a keeper. He he looks pretty big. Uh, let's try to stake ourselves out so we don't don't blow. Well, there you are. First, uh, I think I lost it, 150 something, and now it's 207. That's pretty good for our first fish and a keeper at that. So we're gonna get a measurement on him. He looks like a keeper. Pretty thick in the middle. Good redfish there. Tell he went after that chartreuse tail. I'm hooked. I'm wrapped my lines around him. Oh, nice one spotter. Let's see what you got there, buddy. Oh yeah, he's 20, 20 and a half, 21 inches, close to 21. Let's call him 20 and three quarter inches with a pinch tail, 20 and a half without. Nice blue on him. Yeah, 20 and a half is uh, size. So a good keeper, and we're keeping a fish today. Now what we got, we're pointing in this direction. We're gonna just kinda, won't be pointing in that direction very long, but. So all the currents coming through here are going through that little channel. And that certainly is a pinch point channel acts like a funnel. Ooh, got one. Got one. Acts like a funnel. An old fish like this one. Good one. Ah, nice little red. Another red fish. All right, come on in here, buddy. You're going home. You get a picture of that keeper before. Oh, nice little blonde red. Get a picture of you, buddy. Two spotter. Nice. Oh. All right. Oh. Probably a little juvenile. Losing his scales, flapping around. Get you there, bud. Yeah, I know. So, before you say, you should be using fish grips. 
I actually have a pair of fish grips and I do use them. I just sometimes don't. And when I don't, that's usually what happens. Yeah, he's cooked good. He's not going anywhere. All right, 15 and a half inch redfish. Nice one. Needs a little growing up to do. His tail is a little split here in the back. Let's get that hook out of your mouth. Get you released. Yeah, he wasn't going anywhere. In fact, I might need my pliers. Let's see. If... Sorry, buddy. I know that's gotta hurt. There we go. All right, go catch you something. There you go. Fish on. Oh, I had him. <laughs> you saw him jump there. He, boy, he hit it a couple of times. I don't know what that was. It looks like a mullet. I don't normally go after this bait. Might have been a blue fish though. Got one. Got one. All right. Fish on, fish on. Nice. Keeping that tight line here. Hopefully this is a sea trout. He hanging out. Caught two redfish today. He's down though. He's not coming up. So. It's probably a redfish. Let's see. Ah. Let's start. There's my leader. Oh, I don't know what kind of fish that is yet. It's pulling drag, that's for sure, and he's around my stakeout pole. Oh, it's a bluefish. Or is it a jack? It's a jack! Little Jack Crevail. Wow! Little Jack. These guys are fighters. Good little Jack there, back in the marsh. Come on in here. Little Jack Crevail back in the marsh. I don't even know. Boy, I got him hooked right in the center of the lip. He wasn't going anywhere. Little Jack. Nice. That was a lot of fun. A little fight in him. Most people don't eat these fish. And I'm not going to mess around with them because they have some teeth. Most of these saltwater fish have teeth. Little bitty Jack. We're going to use our fish grips for a change, even though he may not fit in there. Little Jack Crevel. Hey, buddy. How are you? Whoops. Come on now. Stop flopping. Stop flopping. Hmm. There you go. Now he's spit the hook. There's our Jack. For me. Look at that guy. Little Jack Reveal. Get a measurement on him here in a second. Ambushing bait. Thirteen and a half inch jack. Thirteen and a half inch jack reveal. Just caught a nice little jack. Thirteen and a half inch jack. Fun little fish to catch. 
don't catch too many of them back here in the marsh. You can be out in the intercoastal, but boy. Hey, I gotta check my leader. It is frayed a little bit. So we're gonna do the safe thing and change our leader or change, cut off a little bit of it, retie, get back to you. Got one? Got one. All right, fish on. He hit it and sat. Oh, look at that, in the middle of a school. All right, let's get him in. Ooh, I don't know what it was. There he is. Fish on. Oh yeah, boy, it looks like a red fish. He is tugging. I'm just pulling drag. Okay. I'm going to stake out here because I'm up against an island. <clears throat> Boy, he's fighting me. Fighting it. All right, come on. Woo! Yeah, this guy's dragging. Good redfish. Look at all those. Must be redfish out here with all that bait jumping. I cast right into that bait. Let's, let's see. Boy, he's a big one. Hey, nice. Good redfish. Coming back at me. And my stakeout pole is in the way now. Let's see if we can pull him up. Look at that guy. Beautiful redfish. <laughs> yeah, I got him hooked, so. Nice. Definitely a keeper. Just can't keep him. Nice. All right. Good size red. Nice blue tail. Let's get him in. Hey, buddy. There you go. size redfish. Well, you never know whether you should keep the first redfish or not. It all depends. Are you going to catch a nicer one here in Volusia County? This time, probably should have let that first one go, but I wish we could keep two. Boy, he was hooked too. Look at that. He is hooked through the side. Huge redfish. Nice size. Beautiful red. Let's get you a measurement. Oh yeah, he is hef hefty too. Ooh man, 20, he's right at 22 and a half, 23. A nice 23 inch redfish. Nice fish. Get a nice picture of you. It's like he's been hooked before in the bottom of the mouth there. Maybe. Beautiful fish. Just a nice 
beautiful redfish. Thank you, buddy. Guess what? You're going back. You can find your friends. Boy, I had you hooked good. Good hook set. Find your friends. I'm going to film your release so that everybody knows. Mm. And get this hook out of your mouth. And we follow the rules here in our fishery. Hmm, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna need the pliers. There we go. All right. Get some good gulps of water. Turn my board off. There you go, you're starting to fight already. Be with your friends soon. What do you see on this side? You look healthy already. One last shot of you. Can you grab your tail. There you go. All right. Whoo, nice fight. Beautiful redfish, 23 and a half or so. There was a school of them, I could tell, because the bait was being hit. They're still over here on this side. And he was just nice enough to give us a bite. But take a look at this bait. It is almost bit in two. So. Yeah, I got one. Right on the edge there. Fish on. Just cast it and let it drop a little. Let's see what we got here. A little redfish. Yeah, these redfish are out here today. Redfish number four today. Come here, little guy. You're going right back in. Don't worry about it. Too small. A couple of spots on you. We will still measure you. A nice little red. Oh boy, he tore this bait up. Fifteen inch red. I'm gonna get you back in the water because you're bleeding pretty good. Make sure you get there you go. Get revived. Okay, I'm back. That was an excellent meal. As you can probably tell by the plate, it is empty. I love that meal. Redfish on the half shell with a little bit of Spanish rice. Mm, hits the spot. So, do you think I made the right decision to keep that first fish? What I really do is I look for the slot. And now a slot for a redfish is between 18 and 27 inches. You can't keep anything under 18 or over 27 inches. And so if the first fish is in that slot and it's bigger than the minimum, so around 20 inches is the cutoff for me. So that one was 20 and a half inches, so I kept it. So if it's over 20 inches in the slot, and I'm early in my fishing period, like I was uh, today, then I keep that fish and I don't worry about catching a larger fish or a better fish. I just do that for the fun of it and throw them back. Uh, now, I have in the past uh, put fish on a stringer. The reason I don't do that from my kayak though is because if you think about it, at least this is what goes through my head. In order to catch something, 
we put bait on the end of a string, throw it out in the water, and pull it. Well, if I put a stringer on my kayak, there's bait on the end of a string, and I'm pulling it. And here in Florida, we have a lot of alligators. Not as many as in Louisiana, probably, but we have a lot of alligators, and I never want to be gator bait, especially if I'm on a kayak. So I don't uh, take a stringer. If, if you did, I know some people uh, hook their fish with a stringer in the right way, and that way they can pull that fish, keep them healthy, and cull fish. If they got the 23 and a half inch fish like I did, uh, they could then uh, throw back the 20 and a half inch fish and keep the 23 and a half inch fish if they wanted to. I don't do that. I like to keep it with an ice slurry, uh, so ice and water, and to put the fish there because I think it makes the meat of the fish that much better, as is evidenced by my plate. Well, that's what I do. What do you do? Please leave your comments below and help me to appreciate how you call fish or how you decide whether to keep your one fish limit in your slot. Catch you next time on This Week and Today in the Marsh.